I'm trying to like figure out how to frame this because it's absolutely insane what we're doing. What? If I was like, do you want a recipe for a hot dog? You'd probably be like, no. But if I was like, do you want to know how to throw a sick hot dog party? You'd be like, yeah. Hello, welcome to Home Movies. My name is Allison Roman and it's my birthday. Yay! Okay, it's not actually my birthday today, but when this comes out, if all goes according to plan, my birthday's actually tomorrow, if you think about it. It's September, my birthday's September 1st. <laughs> Mark your calendars. No gifts, please. So this is less about how to grill a hot dog, which like, who cares, and more about how to throw a hot dog party, which this can happen in your own home, or it can happen in a park where there's a grill, or it can happen any place that you can build a grill or a fire, or perhaps you're bringing your own grill. This is how to host an all-inclusive, all-encompassing hot dog party. You have your food and you have your equipment. The equipment, you need aluminum foil, tongs, charcoal, a cooler also. You want a cooler for which to pack things in. So that's your equipment. The food, you can include sausages if you want, um, but me primarily, it's the hot dog for me. I like to include many different brands because I like to think of a hot dog party as an opportunity to have a hot dog taste test. Call me crazy. I think it's interesting and fun to try the different hot dogs. Live a little, you know? But if you have a brand, then you just go with your brand. Hot dog buns. I have a brand. It's Martin's Potato Rolls. I think it's the only hot dog bun. Then you have the toppings. I am pretty particular about what I want on my hot dog. I want raw onion and I want mustard. And that's kind of it. Occasionally, I'll do the pickled peppers, either sport peppers, pepperoncinis, pickled jalapenos, and a kosher dill pickle. I also recently got into celery salt, very Chicago dog style. So we'll be bringing that with us as well. Because this is not all about me, we will be bringing ketchup. I think ketchup on your hot dog is a bad idea. I think it's stupid. I think ketchup tastes bad most of the time on everything except shrimp cocktail sauce. But I'm in the minority and I, and I know that. So I bring it because it would be like if I showed up to a hot dog party and there wasn't French's yellow mustard. I'd be like, I have to leave this. I would literally go to the store to get it and bring it back to the party. I bet somebody feels that way about ketchup and I'm just trying to be considerate. There's two things that I'm gonna bring to the party as well to eat along with the hot dog. I'm gonna bring a sour cream and onion dip and I'm gonna bring like a red cabbage slaw. Not only can you eat them on their own, like a salad, a slaw is very good with the hot dog and a dip is very good with chips and celery sticks. Both the slaw and the dip are very good on the hot dog. So. I'm kind of thinking, okay, I'm, I'm packing things up. I have limited space. I want to be able to say, this can be eaten on its own and on the hot dog. And I want to be really considerate about that because I feel like it, you need to like be mindful of the space. As for other things, this is a good opportunity to outsource, especially if people are just meeting at a park. You sort of like look at who's coming. You think about their personality type, who's responsible, who's gonna flake, who's definitely gonna come, who's gonna come early, who's definitely coming late, who's definitely gonna bring an extra person. Like, think about each, each individual and like, give them the best job for their personality type. So like, my friend Anoop, very responsible, always on time. He's gonna bring the chips because I also know he's gonna bring the right kind of chip. I thank you. Chip take chips seriously. Seriously. It does take a village, so there is a certain amount of delegation involved in Hot Dog Party, a thing that I'm actually very bad at but throwing the hot dog party does help you uh, strengthen that muscle. Before we pack everything up, I'm gonna make the slaw and the dip. You may have already guessed there's no mayonnaise happening in this cabbage slaw situation, so I think of it more as a salad. Speaking of, how cool is cabbage? It's gorgeous. I'm gonna use a half a head. I always make way more cabbage slaw than I need. It's like one of those things that it like triples the amount. Like you're like, how is this possible that I've made so much cabbage slaw? But the basic principle is raw cabbage sliced very thinly. You don't need to use like a mandolin or anything like that for this, but you can if you want. I'm just removing the sort of thicker white core, which I don't enjoy eating. And basically slicing it really thinly. I like big long, strips. You don't have to worry about it getting it too thin because this is going to sit for a while. It's going to marinate and it's, as it marinates and sits, it's going to soften. The idea here is cabbage plus raw onion plus vinegar, maybe a little honey, salt, pepper. 
You could add something spicy if you wanted. You could add something herby if you wanted. Also, cabbage salad or slaw is something that I get really excited about, but I feel like it's not everybody's favorite until they try it. Another reason I always like cabbage salads for picnics or any time that I'm grilling outside for any length of time is that they cannot be destroyed. They're good cold, they're good room temp, they're good if they've sat in the sun for a little bit. They can be put through a lot and still taste very, very good with excellent texture. I think I need a bigger bowl. First things first, I'm gonna um, salt this cabbage. Um, this is like about a teaspoon and a half. You don't have to measure it, but you do want, you know, a good amount of salt in here and just kind of massage it a little bit. You'll notice that it'll sort of give up its own juices, which will help dress everything, which is why I like to salt it first. And then I'm gonna add this red onion. Could use a white onion or a yellow onion. I'm using a red onion because I think red onion and red cabbage is cute together. And this salad is nothing if not cute. It's just mess. I know. Growth. Progress. All right, I'm just gonna cover this with some uh, citrus juice. I'm using a mix of lemons and limes. I'm gonna use that squeezer. I won't do it. I just don't like to. Hey, you're fine. Yeah. yeah. It's your birthday. Yeah. Does that mean I don't get another, I don't get my real birthday? <laughs> this slaw should be salty and tangy and like fresh tasting. This is sort of a reprieve from all of those hot dogs you're about to eat. So I'll add a little bit of olive oil, but it should be fairly lean. And this is a good herb moment. If you want it spicy, adding chili flake is a nice idea. Something like sumac would be really nice here, which is, uh, they, people call it an herb, but it's actually from a berry. It's like a plant. I'm gonna add a little bit of chili flake. I'm gonna add some sumac as well, because I said it and I thought, sounds really good. It's like a tart, sort of like citrusy flavor. So to go with all that citrus juice we put in like makes a ton of sense to me. Don't you dare put a cheese in this. Don't you dare put a mayo in this. Mmm, so tart, so citrusy, so good. All right, I'm gonna let this sit. We'll toss it a little bit before we pack it up, maybe adjust the seasoning, but this is gonna kind of like get to know each other in the bowl. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sour cream and onion dip. <clears throat> I've made this dip many times, many ways. I've also done it where you basically caramelize a ton of onions and add some, you know, fresh garlic, maybe some fresh scallion at the end, or chives, that's also very good. But the other day, I didn't have time for that, and I just cut up a bunch of very fresh scallions, like the whole thing, and stirred it into a bunch of sour cream with a little bit of garlic and lemon. I was like, this is the fastest and best version I've had. So I think if you're more of a sour cream and onion gal, or guy, or person that's like, into that Lipton's caramelized onion flavor. You might wanna go like the caramelized onion stirred into that or just use the packet because it's honestly really good. But if you're more of like a sour cream and chive person, I feel like this is closer to that. It's like em emphasis on the, I can't open this. Emphasis on the fresh. <laughs> Why did I just do that to begin with? How long were you gonna let me struggle? <laughs> You know, it always doesn't seem like you're on the verge of having it. I know. That's, <laughs> like, it's you're... honestly a real metaphor for I my life. I'm almost always got it. I'm just going to take off the little ends here from these scallions, which we don't need. I'm going to start with six scallions. These should be pretty finely chopped or thinly sliced. This is another thing that gets better as it sits. So if you want to make the, either of these things the day before, you should do that. If you're like throwing a party like this, I, I firmly believe in like doing most of the work, but not all of the work, hence the delegation. This also doesn't have to be for your birthday. It'd be good for Labor Day. This is perfect for Labor Day. All right, six, or yeah, six scallions, one clove of garlic, grated. This is like a hot dog party that's happening in real time, by the way. Like we're leaving in 10 minutes to go to the park. I hope this inspires people to throw a hot dog party. It's silly, but it's fun. Lots of ground pepper. Some salt. And sour cream. If you don't have Tupperware, 
A nice thing to do is to save these containers to transport your dip and then like transfer it to a bowl if you want. I once asked a friend of mine to bring a bunch of parsley, and he showed up to this barbecue with four bunches of parsley because oh, he thought I meant a, a bunch. I kind of <laughs> like what? Oh, he's got the right word. He did, but he did get curly parsley. Oh. So it was like strike one, strike two. On my hot dog, I want raw onion. I like thinly sliced. Okay, um, last thing, I'm gonna cut out the celery because it's gonna go great with the dip. It's also nice to just have like one crunchy vegetable that's not turned into a salad. I like to cut them on the bias. I'm really moving fast here, <laughs> we're late. Everyone's gonna meet us at the park. <sighs> Hot dog party stressing me out. I don't actually have a plan for my birthday, which is concerning because I know myself and I know that I'm gonna be like, I'm sad. Not really, Dan. <laughs> That's true. I did plan this hot dog party today. <laughs> now look at us. What could scream birthday more than a bunch of celery in a Ziploc bag? <laughs> hot dogs are coming with. We have a little cooler. We have an ice pack. That goes in the bottom. If you have more ice, that's cool too. This isn't like a heavy duty cooler. This is like a pretty basic whatever, but we're not going far and we're gonna get these hot dogs pretty much immediately. So I prioritize anything that absolutely must be cold. So the hot dogs are important. Sour cream and onion dip also important, I think. It's sort of like you make a choice, like what has to go in there versus like what should go in there. I'm gonna go ahead and say that celery should go in there which is like really treating the celery very well, I think. I'm packing pepperoncinis. They're already sliced, which is really nice for sprinkling on your hot dog. Kosher spears, these are really important for snacking on, but also I really enjoy them on my hot dog. These are a little thick for that, but who cares? Pickled jalapenos. You don't have to have both, but it is nice to have both because these I think are more for me like they're softer, they're a little bit spicier, and these are like crunchier and a bit tangier, but I think there's a place for both. Ketchup, mustard. Um, notably absent is mayonnaise because I don't believe it goes on a hot dog. I think it's disgusting. I don't think, I don't want mayonnaise anywhere near this party. If you want something creamy, that's what the sour cream and onion dip is for. I, I honestly should have on the invite said, this is a mayonnaise free party, feel free to BYO. It will not be provided. That's sufficiently heavy. Um, great. This I'm just gonna wrap and bring. This is my new doshi bag. Thank you, Susan. In this bag, we are doing tongs, paper towels, aluminum foil just in case. I don't mess with the box because it takes a valuable space. We may never solve the age old issue of why the hot dogs come in six and the hot dog buns come in eight, but that's the hand we've been dealt. So we deal. And I'm making celery salt real quick because I just got really into it for my hot dog. Oh, great. And that's just kosher salt and celery seed. Okay. All right, I have this extra kimchi or sauerkraut that I found that I wanted to get rid of, so that's coming. I am bringing a package of plant-based or vegan sausages. If I, I couldn't find vegan hot dogs, but it is nice to have. Even if your friends do eat meat, sometimes they don't want to eat meat. It's just like a good alternative, I think, and a kind thing to provide for anyone that might be coming. We'll get there. The mustard doesn't need to go in there. That's insane. It's a real Jenga. Plates, forks, cups, and napkins, all compostable materials, recycled materials. That feels important to me. Uh, I hope it feels important to you too. Our car's here, we gotta go. I am annoyed at my friends. It's almost seven and they're not here. 
Okay, we have arrived at the park. We have our charcoal. I forgot to bring lighter fluid, but guess what? We found some just hanging out in the park, and that's what we're gonna use. I'm gonna get the grill going so we can grill the hot dogs. But effectively, what's going to happen is I'm gonna put some charcoal in a pile. I'm gonna put some lighter fluid on it, and I'm gonna light it on fire. This isn't a grill that I'm used to grilling with, but we're all just gonna do our best. And that's how you light a grill. This isn't is really lighting. Hi. Do you need lighter fluid? Yes. We found some in the park, but I feel like it's diluted with rainwater or something. Thank you so much. Yeah. This is Yos. Hey, Yos. Hey, Yos. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just needed more lighter fluid. What they don't tell you is that you gotta really get some oxygen in there. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? Good. That's the thing about being late. It's like, when they come, I'm just happy to see them. You know? The hot dogs aren't even ready. There we go. Okay, it's happening. You hear that? Looks like it's going pretty good over there. Yeah, should I put more on top? More charcoal? Yeah. Yeah. You want to come over here and fan hey. for me? Thank you. Hi. Hi. How are you? For anything like a pickle jar or peppers, pickled peppers, sauerkraut, anything that you're going to want to like put on your hot dog or eat with your hot dog, this is insane advice, um, that comes in a liquid, dump out some of the liquid somewhere safe so that the liquid doesn't get everywhere and people go to like get the things. And when you ask your friends to bring chips, it's really important that you pick the right friends because you don't want someone showing up with one bag of weird chip. You want somebody who's gonna take it seriously, who's gonna show up with no fewer than one, two, three, four, five, six types of chip, all of which are suitable for the dip that you have made, and even some wild cards for people that might not want it. I thank you. And thank you for your service. You're valuable. Chip team, chip I appreciate you. Chip Take chip has a seriously. Okay, so our grill is really hot. I'm gonna lower the things without burning myself. Although, those aren't that hot actually. I'll be fine, I'll be fine. And then I'm gonna start grilling. Okay, tongs, foil. This is actually pretty clean. I have to give credit to whoever used this before I got here. Um, okay. We're doing great. We're doing great. I'm gonna throw in some hot dogs because it's a hot dog party. Today I'm going with Hebrew National and Brooklyn Cured. I've had both. I love both. Not sponsored. Just excited about hot dogs. Which one do you think would be better? Uh, the Brooklyn Cured is pretty good. It's just more expensive. It's like not. It's like a. It's like a fancier hot dog. The nice thing about hot dogs, aside from their deliciousness, is that anyone can grill them. So like if I need to do something else, someone else can come grill these hot dogs. I forgot that I wanted to bring corn as well. Also nice if people don't eat meat, but I think anyone appreciates corn. Don't let the hot dog roll away. This is a hilarious grill. Now there's ash all over the hot dog. That's like a part of charcoal grilling, I feel like. Does anybody not eat meat? There's no impossible. There is, I do have Beyond, actually. Beyond sausage is very good. Because I am going to lie to you. I want to Beyond too, actually. Wow. Oh my. I love it. I'm so glad I got them. If you like your friends, you're going to toast the buns for them. These hot dogs look good. It's really important that they start to char. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Hot dogs are up for grabs. Crying. Hannah, thank you for coming to the hot dog party. You're so welcome. We really appreciate it. Um, tell us about your hot dog. I went with slaw and a pickle and ketchup because I am regrettably hungover and dehydrated. And so I am in need of salt and crunch. Wow. Given yeah. that I was with you last night, yeah. I'm curious how that happened. I don't know. Because I woke up feeling great. I know. Is there something that I didn't provide that you wish that was here for the hot dog? I'm gross and I like mayonnaise on my hot dogs. That's correct. Thank you yeah. for acknowledging that. Hi, yes. Uh, hey. <laughs> Tell us about your hot dog. I went with kind of a traditional sauerkraut mustard. Is there anything uh, not on this table that you wish were on your hot dog? Um, I don't see Dijon. Is there Dijon? That's interesting you bring that up because I definitely was like... In, I made a mental note to bring many mustards. Right, right, right. And I brought and one. Yeah. That was an oversight, and I apologize. No apology necessary. Okay. I just I'll want you to know that mustard. I know that there should be more mustard on the table. I'm aware. If there was Dijon, I'd probably do that. Might do onions next time, might do slaw next time. Okay. 
my try and impossible, but this is like a good first go. Oh, hi Clayton, thank you for coming to the hot dog party. It's your birthday apparently. Yeah, <laughs> you've never forgotten it. I, well it's not today, but yeah. yeah. Why don't you tell us about your hot dog? I put these peppers on it because I prefer sport peppers. I truly fell in love with hot dogs in Chicago. Um, and uh, the celery salt helps. Big old slice of pickle. Could use some uh, tomatoes, honestly. But I think it's gonna be really good. I don't really know what this is all about. It's slaw. It's just slaw? Yeah, it's either meant to be eaten on or alongside the hot dogs. Right, so okay. I really like the idea of like having that optionality, like being able to say like it works on the dog or not. Mm -hmm. That all ends up in the same place. Thank you, that was my thoughtfulness yeah. shining through. So anyway, thank you, happy birthday. Who do I talk to about this hot dog? Hilton, thank you so much for coming to my hot dog party. Of course, thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, such a pleasure. <laughs> um, will you please tell us about your hot dog? The hot dog that I dressed today has mustard in sauerkraut. Is there anything that I don't have here that you wish you had on your hot dog? Multiple things. You have wow! Multiple things missing. Wow! Where's the relish, for one? Also, wow. where's the chili? Where's the bacon? But I'm gonna eat this He's a because two to three meat man. <laughs> two to three meat. One meat is not enough. Look, what, well, you know, I like street hot dogs, and they normally have bacon on them. But um, I'm gonna go with this because I feel like this is like a ballpark style hot dog, uh, kraut and mustard. My wife would be proud of me. So uh, yeah, amazing. I'm going classic hot dog. A lot of mustard. I think it's dumb. May I? When people do this. Thanks. I got the dumb I think it's dumb. You mean it's dumb when they do this? Oh! It's dumb when they do this? It's moisture all over the bun. Oh, I am so sorry. That was humiliating. Oh, great job with the mayo and the relish and the chili today. And the ketchup. Way to bring ketchup to a hot dog cookout. I'm going with a pickle, and as you can tell, there's almost equal parts mustard, pickle, and hot dog. It's elegant. It's striking. I'm doing peppers, but not too many, just a few. And then I'm doing a small amount of celery salt and onions. Wow, multiple things, he said. Multiple things. Never gonna forget that moment. Okay, so to me, this is a perfect hot dog. It has a lot of mustard for sauciness. It has a full pickle, it has raw onion, it has celery salt, and it has some peppers for heat. They could be spore peppers, they could be pepperoncinis, but yeah, it's my perfect hot dog. Thank you for coming. Don't ever let anyone tell you that you didn't bring the right toppings on your birthday, even though you did ask. Don't forget the relish. And honestly, just bring the mayo. It's not worth the fight. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to myself. This year on my birthday, I'll be going to two weddings because my birthday is over Labor Day. People love to get married over Labor Day and I love love and I'd rather celebrate them than me because that's the kind of person I am. Just kidding, I'm making a whole video about my birthday <laughs> to celebrate it because I'm afraid that I won't be able to celebrate it enough. So, um, Anyway, I was born on September 4th. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm joking.